Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Outdoor Guy 365 coming at you with another great video product review. And today we're in my driveway. Now, typically I would do probably a review about my car, but unfortunately my car is in the shop. So at the dealer. So, um, you know, I do have, you know, a warranty issue with it uh, because something went wrong with it. Got a small oil leak, no big deal. But because I have the platinum coverage on my uh, car, you know, they give me a loaner. So what did they give me? They gave me this beauty. Yes, an all new 2020 or 2019, uh, 2021 uh, Toyota Highlander XLE. Yeah, see this Toyota Highlander. Toyota Highlander, yes, XLE with the all-wheel drive. This is a swanky, swanky ride. I mean, you know, that's not my plate on there. That's the dealership's plate, so I don't care showing it in the video. It's, you know, got the backup camera. It's got the light. It's got the, you know, you know, you can open it up if you have to. Um, and it's not open. Oh, there it goes. Couldn't find it on there. See, it's got all those things up there. So, uh, yeah, not a ton of cargo room in this thing as I open it up and take a look. But, you know, if you do fold the third seat down, there is a lot of room in this thing, possibly. You know, they've got all different kinds of access things to get to if something goes out you know they got cargo trays so that's pretty cool and uh you know if, if this stupid thing will go back in there all right and then we lift this thing up and there are some tools to get in here that's pretty cool and I don't know what's in there either. I'll have probably a way to lower down the spare tire underneath the car. So that's kind of cool too. And then there's, you know, another compartment to get to here. That you can probably get to something. I'm not going to take it out. And then here, you know, there's a jack and stuff and other things. So, you know. But it's like, where, oh, where can we go? Oh, never mind. The jack is over there. Pretty good design. It's hidden away in the storage. So, um, yeah, not a, not a ton of storage room in this Toyota Highlander. But, uh, yeah, you can put the seats down and you'll have lots of room. Uh, especially if you're not transporting anybody. So, you know, another access point there for something. Uh, lots of headroom. I mean, I'm 5'11", and I still got, you know, at least 8 inches of clearance. And then it's got, look at this, power gate. Boom. Press it, it goes down. So, yeah, how about that? So, yeah, it's comes with these Michelin Premier LTX tires. So, you know, you're always getting a good tire on these things. Um, you know, let's take a look inside here, you know, this is the XLE, so it's pretty decked out. Uh, it does have, you know, leather seats. I mean, it's got lots of different stuff here. It's got, you know, the heated seats. It's got the control mechanism. Sorry, the sunlight was hitting there. And then it's got charging ports. It's got cup holders. Uh, a little bit tough to get to the third row back there. That's probably something I wouldn't like if I was buying this. But, you know, it's got these, you know, captain-style chairs. And it's got, you know, you could easily go boom and tip the seats back or down, however you need, front and forward. All kinds of levers for adjustments, pocket back seats to put pocket stuff back there. Uh... You know, if you had to sit seven adults in here, that's a tight fit. So, uh, but if you had a small family, 
uh, you know, family of four or family of five, yeah, you probably fit pretty well in here. So uh, let's go to the front. Doors sound pretty good. And, uh, you know, it's got all the heated mirrors, lane detection system, you know, all that fun stuff. Nice big cup holder, door pocket, stuff that won't get stuck, you know, easily to be cleaned. But again, stuff could get caught in those crevices. Power windows, power door locks, everything you'd expect. So here we are in the front, leather seats again. You know, we got, the dealer didn't put floor mats in there because this is just a temporary rental, but you know, it's got all kinds of stuff in it. I mean, if you almost didn't know any better, you thought you were almost in a Lexus. So, I mean, it's it's got everything up there, sunroof, it's got, you know, all kinds of stuff. Snow, hill, hill climb ascent, you know, snow mode, traction control. You know, it's got the all-wheel drive system. So mud, snow, normal, rock, dirt. It's got a sport, a normal, and an economy. And it's also got, you know, uh, a manual so you could shift. It's got a nice place to put a big cell phone. Somebody left some wrappers in there. USB charger cigarette lighter adapter two other plugs there um, let's see yeah usb 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 so it's got a couple of really nice usbs usb like 2.0s and then i think that's a 3.0 usb um you know more cup holders there there's a cup holder on the driver's side uh look it's got smartphone charger technology built right in so if you have an IQ charger, that's pretty cool. This does not come up. The center console does not come up. So uh, at least that I don't. Uh, oh, maybe it does. Uh, it might, but I haven't figured that out yet because, well, this is just a rental. So, um, But let me hop over onto the driver's side and show you what else is going on there. So like I said, my car is in the shop at the dealer. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, wheels are pretty nice looking on this. Got nice lines, everything. I believe this is a 2021 because it was made September of 2020. So it just rolled off the production line. So it's pretty nice. It's got nice headlights. Boy, these are bright at night. I drove it last night. Um, you know, it's got, you know, it looks the same from all the way around. And then, you know, power adjustable seats, you know, they are heated. Uh, they're not ventilated because it's not a limited or platinum trim. Uh, that's the only thing that's not on here. You know, you got all kinds of fancy bells and whistles, knobs, controls, awesome stereo system. Um, you know, I mean, if I didn't know it any better, I was, I figure I was sitting in a Lexus RX um, you know, conveniently placed controls. These are, you know, pretty logical in terms of layout. Um, it's got all kinds of Fandango buttons and everything everywhere. Um, you know, heated seats, of course. You know, and not, uh, it's got a HD radio, Sirius XM, Grace Note. Um, you know, I do have the keys in my pocket, so I mean... You know, I, I, you press the brake pedal. Boom. Just like that. And, you know, I don't like digital dashes, but, you know, it is pretty nice sounding. You know, it's in the economy mode. I have the parking brake on because I do have slight hill uh, of a driveway. But other than that, I mean, yeah, I mean, right now, the MPG on this thing, 23.7. You know, not bad for a big SUV like this. Almost 6,000 pounds. Tows 5,000 pounds. Or maybe a little bit more than 5,000. Maybe 5,500. I'd have to double check that. But, you know. You know. And it also gives you messages. Check the rear seat, etc. Yeah, it's only got 1,200 miles on it because it's a dealer rental. But, hey, let's pop the hood and let's take another look at this thing. So... 
boom, nice solid doors, everything else. And, you know, let's find the hood release here. Oh, there it is. If I could just get my hands there. Okay. So, yeah, this is the V6 Toyota engine. This is the three and a half liter V6 that comes in everything. Uh, you know, the Tacoma, the Avalon, uh, the Lexus ES350, uh, the Lexus LS minus the turbocharging. Um, as you can see, the, the battery can be moved even further over, and there's still room in here if you wanted to even put a bigger power plant. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, not terrible so i mean yeah it's uh definitely definitely a nice nice vehicle uh they do use a lot of plastic on this crap i prefer if they used metal but you know i understand they're trying to save weight and everything else uh engine oil here uh if somebody ever had to add some is 020 weight um you know but you know plenty of room to work on something here it's not crammed in here I mean, it's it's fully accessible, and you know, the technology keeps getting better on cars, except for they keep putting all these damn computers in the systems. So, um, yeah, that's that's just part of the problem. So, you know, this, you know, as it says, you know, here's the information on it, you know, so. Yeah, overall, this is a nice, nice ride. I mean, if I was, if they asked me if I wanted to trade my Avalon for this, mm, I, I don't think I'd have any issues saying, sure, let's do it. So, uh, you know, and they can put a hybrid powertrain in here. And, you know, they've put a three and a half liter powertrain hybrid in here. And I think they're even now going with a two and a half liter powertrain uh, hybrid system in here so um, you know well well built vehicles um, you know uh, you know you can never really go wrong with a Toyota here how that hood hits just nice solid construction you know and like I said you know this this car does you know have you know it, it does nine of 20 and it's also 5,935 gross vehicle weight so and there's the tire size and everything else so it's a heavy car it's a heavy vehicle uh, you know definitely definitely heavy so um you know I'll, I get to have this for about a week so it'll be fun driving it around and you know maybe maybe they'll give me a great deal and say hey you want to trade your avalon for the highlander and i'd be like if it's a straight up trade i'd probably be like heck yeah just the gas mileage on my avalon is about 39 40 miles per gallon the average on this is about 24 and i think i'd have a little too much fun with this three and a half liter gasoline engine so um well, this video is getting kind of long, um, you know, just leave you with my final thoughts. Yeah, this is a total buy, total, total buy. I mean, you know, they started at around, I think right around 34,000. And if you really deck them out, you know, right around 50,000, this XLE version, this is, this is about a $40,000 vehicle. Um, so not terrible, but, uh. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy driving this. This is pretty swanky. It's got a little bit of a roof rack that you can, some tie downs that you can get up there and do. Uh, I am taller than this vehicle, you know, not by a lot, but just by a little bit. But, you know, this is in the segment to keep, compete with, you know, the Mazda CX-5, the Ford Explorer, and all these other vehicles. So, um, you know, if you're looking from SUV in this market, size market share you know check it out i mean it's really really nice so 
All right, YouTube, uh, we'll talk to you later. This has been Outdoor Guy 365 with another great video coming at you with this 2021, probably, Toyota Highlander XLE all-wheel drive. All right, YouTube, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.